Hey guys, Geki Purple here. Now, it's been a while since I made a video like this. But for today, I'm going to be reviewing a custom Michael Myers figure that I made, as you saw by the title. My custom 1978 Halloween Michael Myers figure. Now, I did this because I saw a lot of other people doing this with their Halloween 2 NECA figure. So I wanted to try doing it myself, and it came out better than I expected. So let me see if I can just move these two aside and get right to the figure. So... What I did for the figure was, well, let me see if I can actually just do this. I painted the mask white, as you can see, and painted the entire overalls blue, which I didn't expect to look good. I really, because I'm not going to make any custom figures. It's been, like, what, years since I did, because I made one as a kid, and it looked like straight garbage. But this actually didn't, didn't come out as bad as I thought it did. I really didn't want to paint the overalls. I wanted to keep it the same color as the, it was originally, but I just did it for fun, and it looks good. I painted literally everything, too, so, like, when you move the legs back, you don't see like the little stick of plastic being still greenish, it's still blue. Though here you can see I didn't paint fully, but you can barely see it sometimes, so it's fine. And also with the figure, um, I'll teach you how to do the, how to make this figure, it takes a few simple steps, so it's not that bad really. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I can see the end piece, yeah, it's still there. I originally was also going to use um, 2018's Mike, 2018 Michael Myers overalls for the figure. But something about it when it looked like the size of it just didn't look right to me. So I said screw it and decided to just use like one from Halloween 2. So let me just move these guys back again and move this guy up. Now, the reason I did this for my figure, I'm pretty sure some other people did, was because the Halloween 2 figure didn't look that good as the photos made it to look. Like, say for the promotional photos and the photos on the box. Like, let me move this up for a bit. When it comes to like the box, like you can see how good the figure looks, including the mask. The mask looks the mask looks good, and originally the overalls were originally going to be blue too. But I'm, um, it's kind of like what happened with Roy's overalls. Like when you see Michael in some scenes of the movie, you can't tell what colors overalls are. Kind of like Roy's, like is it blue or is it green? So what they did for Roy's was they actually made it a turqu made like a bit of a turquoise color, which I honestly kind of like. But for here, they just went for the more greenish color. But yeah, again, you see on the package how, let's see if we can focus, how the mask looks really good, including the overalls. But when you actually, you know, open the locks, the figure looks like this, just out of nowhere. And then you and then you see this, and you're like, what the hell is this? I only got it for the collection anyway, so I might make another custom Michael soon. So we'll see for that. But yeah, for this, how to make this figure, it's very simple. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need... A Ben Tremor mask, and those are some other custom masks too, which I'll get to later. And you're gonna need, um, again, your Michael Myers mask. So, a few easy steps. This is what you gotta do. You're gonna need um, a cup you don't mind using, a hair dryer, some paint, obviously for that, and you're also gonna need some like a little scalpel knife or like one of those like cut I forgot what they're called, like a little cutting knife that you use like for not for cutting clay, but like a more sharper one. Acrylic knife, I would say. I'm not. I'm sure. I'm not too sure. And one other thing too for that. Um, these are like just the extra hands of weapons because I had. Because remember, I bought two figures for this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to cut. When you use the, um, the blow dryer, I was gonna. Say, I said heater by accident. I don't know why. <laughs> but you're gonna need to put, um, you know, these in in the cup and then use the hair dryer to heat it up, just for about a minute or so. And then once it's all heated up, you're going to have to like use the knife to cut open the inside of the plastic here and just open that up. Let's see if we get it to focus. It's not doing it. Try for this one. And then you're going to need to cut the line right here. And funny enough, you can just take off these pieces of hair. Like you don't even need the scalp or anything. You can just pull it off. I don't want to do it here because I already did it for the mask. But what you got to do is pull out you the easiest way for some people to do is what they did is just simply take off the hair and just replace it with this but i want to do it my own way so again just cut open the mask and what i did for the inside of the mold right here is i painted it black like as you can see by like the mask right here the eyes are just a solid black color i originally kind of wanted to do it to give it like michael the soulless black eye effect or someone says i met this six-year-old child the blackest eyes the devil's eyes and also, I gave him a knife, too. Um, I believe this knife is from Friday the 13th Part 2, Jason, from when he stabbed that girl after she was trying to get 
ready to bang that dude in the wheelchair. And once you paint the inside of the mask, or again, you don't have to, it's your own choice to make your own custom, then just glue everything back together and just wait for the paint to dry. Now, originally, I didn't paint the Michael Myers mask or the Ben Trimmer mask for this, but I actually, I touched the overalls by accident and I got some of the blue paint on it and I was honestly very pissed off. So I decided to just repaint that. And it still looks good, thank God. So I'm lucky I don't have to do that again. And it looks a bit dirty, but it's not from the blue paint, it's from like some of the black, I'm sure. I was originally going to paint some parts black, but I think that's from the black paint. Though I actually do like a bit of the dirty look, because Michael's mask was... Again, the original Michael Myers mask was a William Shatner mask just spray painted. White, and it has a bit like some dirty spots on it, like a bit of like grayish to it. So it still looks good. Personally, I think it's better than this mask. I think this mask is a bit too dark. Like, it's more of a grayish color for some reason, kind of like the Rob Zombie mask, or like a bit like the 2018 mask. And again, I did like the black eye effect, kind of like this one has, because this one comes with two heads. One like the with the normal eyes, kind of like Michael has, where you can actually see it, because in Halloween 1, you couldn't really see Michael's eyes until he, like, you know, took off his mask from when Lori, when he was strangling Lori, and she pulled off his mask. But with Halloween 2, Michael, in some, sh in some shots, you can actually see his eyes sticking out of the mask. Well, just not sticking out of the mask, but like eerily revealing eyes out of the mask. And I find I like the fact how even in the scene where his both of his eyes got shot, you can still see his eyes. Like I don't know if that was just something that they did on purpose or something that that I'm guessing they didn't like. Well, it was it was the 1980s. So I'm guessing they couldn't like get really a good blood looking effect of like the blood like coming out of the eyes as he shot him. But again, it's fine. But yeah. You could paint the insides of the eyes, or you could just paint new eyes, kind of like how this one has just normal looking eyes, you see with the blue and everything. I honestly felt bad for Ben Tramer's character in the movie. If you don't know who Ben Tramer is, he was a character who was mentioned in the first Halloween, who was originally supposed to be Lori's date, but I'm guessing since she never called him or anything, I'm guessing he decided to go trick-or-treating for fun. And in Halloween 2, he's just simply trick-or-treating with this exact mask, which is pretty much Michael Myers' mask, but just with blonde hair. Loomis goes absolutely insane and tries to shoot him, thinking he's Michael. And Ben literally backs up into like the street, and he gets hit by a cop car. And then the cop car crashes to an ambulance, exploding, with Ben Tramer still on the hood. And I felt so bad for that dude. And Loomis is just shocked as like the one sheriff is yelling at him, like, "Is it him? Well, is it him?" And Ben is just burning, on, just burning on the hood of the car. Like it sucked. And with the custom, I also made these two extra masks, too. I made this extra Halloween 2, which gave him, like, the black eye effect, too. And I personally like that mask a bit better because the lips are a bit... I don't know, something about the lips on this one are not the same on this one, as you can see. But yeah. And something about, like, some parts of the head, too. And this mask... Um, I meant to base on the mask from Halloween 4. Now, in Halloween 4, out of nowhere, you see the original Michael Myers mask in one scene. It was like in the scene where, like, Loomis and Jamie were in the school trying to look for Michael. And he sneaks up behind Loomis and throws him through, like, a door or window. And you only see the mask one time, and it was in that one scene. Again, it was the original 1978 mask, but pink and blonde. And I heard there was a reason for why they used it in that scene. I'm guessing I didn't. I, I never read why they did, but I might check it out later on. But it's just so random to see the Halloween four mask, and all you see is just this mask out of nowhere. And I remember, like I always say about the William Shatner mask just being repainted, since obviously a lot of people know that. But uh, when I look at this mask, it looks like future William Shatner years later. <laughs> like the paint makes him look very, very overweight. Looks makes him like a bit heavy, as you can say. And I didn't, I didn't mean for it to look like this. I just tried to like paint over it and see what would happen. But yeah, it came out weirdly. But again, with the figure too, I never expected it to be this good because again, I'm not make, good at making custom figures. But what I want to say, if you do want to make your own custom Michael Myers, go ahead. You can do what you want with it. People have made, say, customs out of like Halloween 4 Michael or pretty much all the Michaels just using the same body or using 2018 Michael's body. But this I really, really like that I made like my own 1978 version because we never, NECA really never gave us a uh, ultimate NECA 1978 Myers figure, but I'm pretty sure they are going to make more figures of Michael, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be the other figures soon, like say Halloween 4, 5, or 6 later on, or maybe H2O and stuff like that. 
And funny enough, I am planning on making another video in the future of the of the Cult Classics Michael Myers figure review. Though I'm getting the bootleg version because that's the closest you can get. Because if you try getting the original authentic version, it will be very expensive. And I did try getting it once, but I missed my chance. But I'll probably explain that later on. And I gave each of them, like, I gave him the knife from, like, Jason, like I said. And his knife is pretty much the one from Ghostface. Because Ghostface came with a butcher, I mean, chef's knife, covered in blood. I meant to say butcher knife, but it's obviously a chef's knife. And he does have an extra hand with another knife for this Michael. And it's this one. This is the original knife from that 2018 Michael. And it's the same thing, just with a blacker handle. But I wanted to give him that one because, um... His knife was a bit bigger in the original, even when he was a kid. Like, the knife was huge as hell, like, around, like, this big. Compared to this one, so... Uh, that's why I wanted to give him, to give him a more bigger knife, like how we should have. And, real fast, I want to see if I can actually put this mask on. Um, this mask on the Halloween Michael. Just to see how it will look with him. So let's just put this aside. There we go. So I'll just pop this head right off. Try putting this bad boy on. And one other step that I forgot to mention, when you finish painting everything, just glue everything back together with super glue and it should blast. So again, here is William Shatner Michael. <laughs> or Halloween 4 Michael, just from that one scene. And the one thing I love about this Michael is how the eyes are a bit more like how they should be. While the Halloween 2 Michael's eyes are a bit more narrow, as you can say. Like some of the parts of the eyes are just complete. Let's see if I can see. see how the eyes are a bit narrow in some parts. Like this one right here is looking a bit up. It's a bit more sideways. But yeah. And one other thing too. When you pull off these hairs, they'll show like yellow parts. And that's the glue from when they try to make this figure. So what I did and what a lot of people, other people did was just paint over, which I did here, as you can see. So the lines were like the paint is. And again, it looks really nice. And I think it's really good, too, with these other two Michaels. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I can't look at that face. Alright. <laughs> and, yeah. That's pretty much it for the video. But before I end it, I want to show some pictures of... I posted the figure on Instagram for fun, just like a, like me posing him and everything like that. So I'll be showing off the pictures with me posing Michael and like showing off like all the stuff I did with him just for fun. So we'll get right into that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, before I end this video fully, I want to say, um, I am planning on making some more custom figure reviews and maybe some NECA figure reviews of some of the other figures, like, say, Roy Burns, Jason, or maybe the Part 7 Jason, but I haven't found that figure yet, so hopefully I will soon. Honestly, my Walmart Target doesn't have shit. Like, whenever I try to, like, hunt for some figures, they don't have anything. It's just completely empty. I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there can relate. Whatever they're trying to hunt for some figures. The only one I found was a the 30th anniversary Super Shredder figure. 30th anniversary, sorry, my throat. <laughs> Which I could do a review about soon. Though, I'll see if I have time, like I said. And anyway, also, I am planning on making another custom Michael soon, maybe. Based on the Atari Michael Myers for fun. Since we did get Atari Leatherface and NES Freddy and Jason, obviously. But we never got an Atari Michael Myers for some reason. So hopefully, if I do get another Michael... I could probably repaint it and make it look like the Atari version. Because, again, just paint the overalls and just paint the whole entire face, um, hands and mask for the figure. But, yeah. And also, for the Streets of Rage videos, I am planning on releasing Max Streets of Rage 4 video soon. 
and as well as Streets of Rage 3 Skates, I, like I said, I had to redo it after I had the video, but lost it somehow. So I'll possibly be able to do that soon this week, as well as some of the other Halloween pl theme planned videos I have for next month for October. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you all enjoy. Peace out.